Hey guys, what's up? Deck here, and I uh, I just got a box from Amazon. So this is something that I am a little iffy about as far as the reviews, right? Because there's a lot of five star reviews on this thing, and there's a lot of one star reviews. But I was seeing people actually talk about it and they made it sound like it was a great product and this is for game collection right so see how they packed it first all right so there's three things two of them are game related one's not so first off we got the unikeep xbox Binder. So this is supposed to hold 80 games, 80 discs. You can use it for anything. Uh, they have black and green Xbox logo. They got a white and green Xbox logo. They got PlayStation, Blu-ray, movies, games. So it's a little binder. It holds 80 discs. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. And then... I also got it. This is the one that was getting a lot of good reviews. The Unikeep Nintendo Switch video game collection binder. So, unlike the other one that has pages, this is a lot of foam inserts to hold Nintendo Switch games. And this apparently holds 60 of them. 30 on one side and 30 on the other side. So, this one has majority only five star reviews uh the other one has one star reviews because they say it comes broken a lot and the not so exciting thing is a book i had a long time ago and it's just a state quarters deluxe uh kind of collector's book it holds philadelphia and denver mints uh basically it's just a little folding book you can open it up it holds a bunch of quarters they tell you what state it is and so on it's kind of old so this is not really anything it's not exciting but these are what I'm excited about so I'm going to take these plastic off of this and we'll go ahead and take a look at it all right, so I went ahead and took the plastic off. It kind of has a binder feel to it, but it's also plastic, um, which, I don't know, it kind of feels like it's one of those binder sleeves that you put a paper in, but I don't think it is. It has a latch right here, so we just undo the little latch. actually has a clip on the inside okay so it had a clip on the inside looks like it has a little piece of paper unikeep keeps up organized they have a bunch of things uh 3ds game boy advance discs switch obviously um also a bunch of random stuff i think they had like all kinds of things but you know that's what I want to see so this is it it holds 30 on each side so it's 5 and then 6 rows of 5 you know times 2 so I grabbed a couple video games so I'm going to go ahead and grab Mario Odyssey out because you know there's so much space and these are like you could just throw it right in your thing alright so it looks like you just set this in here I'll go ahead and grab out Skyward Sword. It's just foam, so it just kind of sets in there. Grab out the what was the best Zelda game for a long time. Well, my favorite Majora's Mask. But Breath of the Wild is pretty good. And then the 
Zelda game that makes Breath of the Wild look like a tech demo. If you want to know why I kept the top ones empty, it's because I am going to uh, use it. I have the other games. I don't want to take these out. All right. So, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, Mario Odyssey. Those are in there. Go ahead and shake it a bit. Um, I don't know. They look like they stayed pretty well. Yeah, okay. So it actually held on pretty good. You know, it's foam. And then you just kind of close it up. That's the lock, our little thing. See, good thing, you can just take this binder and if you have like one, a backpack or whatever and you wanna take your Switch with you, say if you're traveling or anything like that, you're traveling, you can be gone for a while, you just slide this in your bag, then you have your entire Switch collection with you. The only thing is, uh, do not lose this. So I'll go ahead and mention that's seven bucks. Uh, these are 20 and I think they're all about 19 between 19 and 21 dollars but uh you don't want to lose this because 30 games multiplied by 60 is uh well out of curiosity let me just go ahead and bring up my little calculator so we go 30 and we times that by 60 how many you're gonna lose like two thousand dollars worth of games if uh, this gets stolen carries with you so careful my idea is why i wanted to buy these is i have over yonder a bookshelf of video games and movies and all that and i wanted to have it set up to where i have every all my cases and everything on the bookshelf they look all nice and neat but i have these and the idea is lock these up in the safe if I'm going out of town or something and then if something were to happen and the house got broken into or anything they would not have access to these you can just throw these in the safety deposit box at a bank or whatever and you don't lose two thousand dollars worth of video games so that's that's a pretty good deal right there so let's go ahead and look at the other one because I am curious on how the disc pages are actually going to be like all right to be honest, this one, uh, it smells like a swimming pool. So I already took it out. I latched these. And we'll go ahead and open it up. And by swimming pool, I meant like, you know, it smells like chlorine. I also got some Xbox games. All right, so, well, this is not actually hooked up. So we'll go ahead and put these in there correctly. But you know, they can't help that all the times all right so then all right it does close up pretty good all right so there should be 20 pages in here so one two three four five six seven i probably did the math wrong but it holds four on each so you can hold four eight twelve sixteen Six. I mean, that's not easy, but probably counted on, so it's probably not their fault. Okay. So, this is the type of flap it is. So, it looks like it's kind of like a half circle flap. So, we'll actually take a disc out, grab Aliens Isolation real quick, and we'll go ahead and see how this goes in there. Flap up. Maybe it's just supposed to kind of slide in. 
without touching the paper. I bought this disc from uh, GameStop and it looks like trash. Okay, so. say I don't I'm not a fan of these uh, papers these pages so I'm gonna grab another one another disc which it's just a binder if you can get pages that fit in this that are better probably recommend I like the black ones that uh, have like a little bit on the top so I'll go ahead and grab Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Alright, so I've kind of put it in the plastic. Put this one in the plastic. And then this one is out of the plastic. So the plan is if I... I mean, to be honest, it, it did fall out, but I did feel like I had to use a little bit of force on it. So that's not too bad. Let me throw the other ones in here and see uh, what it looks like. And I'll get back right with you all. And before I do that, this paper here, it didn't come with this one. It only came with the Nintendo Switch one. They got a website, has all their stuff. Here are some of the pages they have. So they have a sheet protector, a receipt page, business card page, coupon page. They got a disc and graphics is for if you want to keep the movie, the actual paper that goes on the outside of the case of the movie. And then you can also keep the books with the disc. There's trading cards, stamp pages, movie ticket pages. Uh, secure page for I don't know why a contra ticket movie ticket contra ticket and all that kind of stuff that looks like your tar picks and it's not even it's actually just reversed on there too because they it's clear alright so I'm going to fill this up and then I will show you the outcome alright so I got them all Kind of set up. I don't have that many physical uh, Nintendo Switch games. So currently I only have 14 physical ones. So I've got, you know, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, Sword Shield, uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shiny Pearl, Legends Arceus, Scarlet Violet, Ring Fit, Mario Odyssey, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom. So pretty good. This one is going to be satisfying when you fill it all the way up. Like I, it's just going to have that feel to it. Alright, so here's the thing. A lot of these don't go down, right? Also, a lot of these don't kind of fit, right? Like they're kind of touching each other. Which is weird because it's got like so much room you would think on the side. I like the gimmick of... Oh, this is an Xbox thing. It holds 80. It's rather compact. Um, instead of getting like a big binder like that thick. But the binder that thick is going to hold like three or 400 CDs. Now, I wouldn't suggest having your games in these if you're going to take them out a lot. So these don't really matter that much because this is on Game Pass. A lot of Assassin's Creed end up on Game Pass. Alien ends up on Game Pass. So I don't really take these out all that kind of often. Uh, so I got some, you know, Battlefield, Bioshocks. Uh, a lot of these I also all have it on uh, digital versions as well. You know, the Fallouts are Game Pass. So I'm going to go flip through so you all can see kind of some of the ones that I have. Uh, this is for Jedi Survivor. I am currently playing it. So, you know, like Titanfall. I have Titanfall 2, Deluxe, and all that. I 
actually digital, same thing with uh, Rainbow Six Siege Extraction, all of that. I have these, so I would suggest, because this looks like it's just a binder, to get better actual sleeves when you do this. So, I forgot exactly, I don't know what they're called, right? But the ones I had for CDs, uh, they were black and a little bit thicker. But the actual pattern went like this on the disc. So you'd pop that in, but there, there'd be a little flap on the top that you'd pull over. And I kept that thing in my car for a very long time. It was amazing for CDs. If those pages would fit in here, then I think that would be great. So I would just, they probably have this on the actual website where it shows the dimensions. Uh, if you want the actual case, but you don't care about the, these at all. But yeah, I figured that would probably be the best. Just get the dimensions or pull one of these pages out. It's just a binder, binder hooks like usual. And then just kind of measure to make sure it's going to fit that way and that way. Now, I guess technically there's not that much room on the end. But I'm not sure why these keep overlapping like this. Like you can kind of see. They kind of just set on top of each other. So then like four like overlap because there's two on this page and then there's two on the back side. That's really the only issue I've had with it. A lot of people said be careful with these clips because these clips are the things that are breaking a lot. You know, I say that as struggle. But I kind of liked it just because it was a little bit, you know, smaller. You could technically throw this in a bag, but it is a binder. I like the hard case on the outside. So you're not going to mess up your discs too bad if you have to throw this in a backpack and move it. You have your collection with you. Uh, or like I said, my thing is if I'm going out of town or something, I can go ahead and uh, throw these in a safe or a safety deposit box. And I don't have to like worry about my games. They're all going to be, the cases are going to be on the shelves. These are going to be locked up. Now... I will say, as far as quality goes, this feels like that cheap plastic that you would see on any normal stuff. This one actually feels a lot better. So this is like the cheap plastic you get on like, I don't know, a cheap binder or something that you get for like a dollar, right? However, this feels like it's the same material as a DVD case. And even this is a lot better. Like those feel fragile. This feels more standard, and I guess this is why uh, this one specifically has a lot of five-star reviews, while the other ones that are like this size tend to have a lot of one-star reviews along with the five stars. So ultimately, I would probably prefer if they could find a way to make remake these binders right here with a better actual 